Today, we will be looking at the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone. This microphone has been out for a while. Uh, it's pretty um, um, tried and tested, um, very dependable, a lot of good reviews on it. It's, it's not too expensive, um, but it's not cheap as well. Um, I got this for a pretty good price, so I decided to pick it up to replace my um, other microphone setup because I wanted a good shotgun microphone. So we'll go ahead and unbox this bad boy today and I'll install it um, onto my system and do some test recording so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So let's begin. This is the retail packaging. It's really nice retail packaging. It's got a nice little original uh, Sennheiser sticker here as well so that you know that you're getting the original one because God forbid you would get a, a, a you know, a um uh counterfeit one and this is the boxing on the side here and some of the key features here like this set they say maximum attenuation of background noise low cut filter for minimizing wind noise phantom power or battery powered which is awesome because i'll be hooking this up phantom powered on a fixed uh, arm so that's one main reason why I got it didn't want to deal with batteries and it's got a all it's got a nice metal housing as well so yeah so this is the retail packaging let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get inside this bad boy like I said I know this microphone has been out for a while but this is new to me so that's why I'm doing a unboxing of it so upon opening you get this nice little uh, Sennheiser uh, carrying bag zipper up front on the top and you pretty much put your microphone in here so that's nice that they didn't include this you got some instructions you got your quick quick user guide and this is all the uh if i can open it up some of the uh key features what's in the box an overview low cut switch led power indicator battery on and off x xlr3 socket which is another reason why i got this that's how you put your battery in you twist pull out put the battery in so pretty nice easy visuals microphone and how and it comes with a cable so you could use the xlr cable to a 3.5 millimeter jack so that's pretty easy and it tells you how to install the microphone in the back here and there's some of the specification if you want to hit pause to take a look at it how you clean it and the polar pattern and frequency response if you want to hit pause on the radio uh on this video here so that's the quick start guide which gives you a lot of nice uh information and then this is like multi-language guide i think yeah it has a bunch of languages on here i'm not going to deal with that so Let's go ahead and look at the microphone here. So in this box, this is what you get. You get the actual microphone. Ooh, it's not too heavy, but it's a little bit weighted. It's cold to the touch because it's all metal. It's pretty long too. It's roughly it's about a little bit over 10 inches long here. So it is a long, micro, uh, long shotgun microphone. You got your... Um, got your foam material here if you want to use it i probably won't use it um you got your holder that you can pretty much snap on here and then you got the xlr to uh three and a half three point five millimeter jack that you could put in your camera and that is pretty much it and it's nicely packaged. Everything's foamed in here, so it's nice and secure when they get it to you. So this is everything in the box on the desk right here. So yeah, looking at this microphone, it is really nice. It's a really nice design. The switches here feels pretty good. Yeah, this is a little bit heavy. Um, you got your XLR connection in the back here. And to put the battery, you twist it like this. And then you can put your battery in here for power if you don't have phantom power for it. And it kind of stays on here too, so it doesn't fall off. 
So, you know, don't expect this thing to come off, put the battery in. So you just pretty much twist it, screw it back on, and then you're done. So that's pretty neat feature there. I won't be using the battery again. This is going to be on my fixed setup. But if you plan to put this on a camera, obviously the camera can't supply power to it. So you could use a battery. And there is a switch to turn on and off here so that you... Um, um, so you don't drain the battery and I believe there's like a little LED there that tells you when the battery is low So yeah, um, that is pretty much the microphone. You got the gills here on the side So you have on this side and this side There's the front of the shotgun mic It says sign Sennheiser MKE 600 on the both sides here and it's really well constructed. It's it's definitely durable. So this thing could probably take a good abuse if you, if you like, if you if you had that kind of thing. So you could fit it in the case here, and you could put the windscreen in here too, and all the accessories, like so, and then just uh, zip it up. So it's got it's got room, and you can take it pretty much anywhere, anywhere you like. So that's. So that's pretty much the unboxing part of it. The big thing about this is um, I really like how it's XLR and you could use phantom power without using a battery. Because right now I have a Comica um, shotgun mic that you're listening to right now. I have to power it on and um, supply power to it. And that's annoying. I got to do it every time I record. So now I'm just going to hook this up straight to my uh, Rodecaster Duo. My Rodecaster Duo will supply power to this guy. And then... I could just turn it on and not worry about uh, power. So I'm going to assemble everything together here, which is pretty easy. So um, the screen here pretty much slides all the way in like this. Pretty easy. And it covers the whole microphone here, as you can see. So this screen here covers all the uh, vents that you see open there. Um, this mount here is, uh, is to mount onto the sh uh, cold shoe or hot shoe of your camera or camcorder, uh, but it also has a quarter inch um, thread um, mount here, so you could mount it onto um, like a tripod or any quarter inch uh, threaded um, stud. And the cool thing about it is um, it's also a shock resistance, as you can see here. Um, if you move it around here, it's like a, it's also a shock mount. It's just a different design, but it's pretty cool. It's, it's rubber here. This is all plastic. This is rubber, plastic, plastic. The mount um, inside is uh, metal, and I think this thing here is like a cable management. Here, right here. So. Um, I wish that they put some padding here so you don't scratch the metal here, but I don't think it will scratch. But if you get dust or anything in here, it might. So just clean it off before you mount it on. And then pretty much it just snaps on just like this. So you kind of force it in and then it just snaps on. And this is pretty much how it will sit on your camera, camcorder or tripod, whatever you're mounting this thing on. So this is everything fully assembled and then this piece here plugs into the back like so and there's a little lock here this is a pretty high quality piece i think this is anodized black this part this part here is plastic and then obviously i don't know what material this is but it stretches out and then you got your uh stereo connector here so yeah this is everything mounted on the unit here and obviously you can't fit it in the bag you have to unhook that but you could probably fit this and the windscreen in there um, mounted but I could probably show you guys just to see so yeah it does kind of fit in here but I wouldn't recommend it because it, it might cause this guy to be indented it's a, it's a little tight but if you want to keep it all together you can and then you can fit this in here I wouldn't recommend it I would take this guy off first and then put it in your travel bag but it can fit in there just barely so that's everything connected here and just to show you in contrast um, what my old setup looks like so this is my comica one right now i'm using my sure uh s uh, uh mv mv7 right now so this is what i was recording earlier in the beginning of the video and look how small this thing is compared to the sennheiser it's so crazy look at the size the difference of it it's like a little baby 
little baby mic look at that but like i said this is going to be fixed on my setup um, at home and i'm going to use this for my camera uh for my camcorders i could probably use this too but you know we'll see how it goes but yeah <laughs> it's funny this is only like a little bit about seven inches long and this thing's freaking uh you know to, or a little bit uh 10 inches long so it's pretty crazy the differences i just wanted to show you guys in comparison and yeah <laughs> so yeah so now the next step is i'm gonna mount this guy onto my setup um into my roadcaster and then we'll see how it sounds so yeah guys so that was the assembly of this mic and compared to my old comica one that i was using All right, let's go ahead and listen to the sound of this bad boy. Okay, so I have, now what you're hearing is the Sennheiser MKE 600. So as you can see, it's hooked up to my Rodecaster Duo and I did have to, um, I had to adjust the gain a little bit um, on the mic. And as you can see, Phantom Power is on right there as well. So it's feeding power to the microphone. And here is the microphone and it's got a little green indicator saying that the light is on, as you can see from the side there. So that's pretty cool that it tells you that it's on. So obviously battery is off right now, but it's getting green light, so it's getting power. But if you have it on battery mode, I believe if the battery is low, that will turn red. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong though. But yeah, so this is the mic that you're hearing now this is the mke 600 this is a temporary setup i'm just doing this just to show you guys the mic and everything so i'm probably about a, a foot and a half away from the mic right now but this is my setup right now i apologize for the dust um so this is what you're hearing right now um tell me what you guys think this is how i have it mounted i have it mounted on the sennheiser uh, mount onto an arm here and it's just pretty much just floating up right now and uh, attached to the table right there as you can see this is my sure mv7 um <clears throat> when i'm pretty much at my desk stationary um i like to use this mic when i'm doing reviews when i don't need the mic close to my mouth that's why i have one so this one's going to be close to me when i'm not losing my head much and this is when i need to kind of move around freely so yeah so what do you guys think this is the um um this is the uh microphone right now this is the sound and this is the setup so i think the mic looks really good and this is me talking to the side of the mic right now so i am talking on the side of this mic so then now i'm going to swing it forward and then Right now, the mic is kind of pointed towards me now about uh, maybe about uh, a hand length away from my uh, mouth. And then I'm going to move it over to the other side. And this is me talking on the other side uh, of the mic. And then I'm going to move around to the front here. And now you're hearing me talk to the front of the mic again. So that's just to show you how the shotgun mic uh, works. Most of the pattern will be picked up in the front here. Um, it will try to cancel most of the noise on the side here uh, when I move the mic uh, from left and right. So yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much um, the unboxing and a quick uh, demo of this mic and what it sounds like. Um, I think this is, is a good arsenal to have. Uh, tell me, got, tell me what you guys think of the sound. Uh, what you guys think of the mic and the unboxing and that's pretty much it guys so yeah thank you for watching like always um, if you like the video you guys know what to do uh, like share and subscribe and uh, thank you for everything uh, thank you for spending the time watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out till next time